In today's video, we're talking foot drills, and I'm gonna give you six exercises to dominate with your feet. Yo, what's up guys? Frank Daniels here today. I'm gonna give you six very cool foot exercises that you can rock with to make your feet stronger. Before I do that, I have a free core training report to help you develop a rock solid midsection. You can download my nine best tips on how to do that by clicking this link right here. Mobile device users, I will put it in the first link in the description. Head down below to grab that. Um, let's talk feet. In a previous video, I talked all about the importance of the foot, okay? The feet, two of them, okay? Two of them that go together. Um, why they're important and how they kind of get shut off or locked down in terms of like proprioception. So as long as human beings have been in like footwear, has been just about the amount of time where we've been shutting off the ability of the foot to perceive the environment. So what the heck does that mean for you? Well, it helps you perform better. And I use this term performance and it probably throws people off. They're like, what is performance? I wanna lose weight, I wanna gain muscle. Um, performance means you're gonna lift more, you're gonna be stronger, you're gonna be faster, you're gonna be more mobile, you're gonna be able to perceive the environment a better athlete. God damn it, you're gonna get in better shape. It's important to you. So your feet are important to you. And if you're in footwear, chances are your foot is stuck like this. It doesn't do anything. When it should really kind of look like, you know, like a like an ape or a gorilla looks like. It should have some ability to kind of grip and hold on. That's that's scary, isn't it? I'm gonna show you. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you six exercises you should be able to master with your feet. By the way, I picked my more attractive foot for you. I would do that for you all day, every day. So here we go. I really need to think about um, going to see a pedicurist before I uh, record my feet. But that's besides the point. We're going to rock these exercises anyway. Now, here are six things that um, you can work on mastering with your feet. First one is going to be big toe down. And can I lift up the other four toes, the smaller toes, off the floor while I drive that big toe towards the ground? You see I'm kind of struggling with that middle toe. On the flip side, can I put those four toes down and be able to lift my big toe off the ground and control that position. Okay, so once again, big toe down, the rest of the toes up, okay? All four toes down, big toe up. Can I master those things? The next move is being able to spread the toes. So can I spread them far apart? Remember I talked about that whole kind of gorilla thing? You know, when you spread those toes apart, it almost looks like a hand. Do I have control over that? Normally the, the toes kind of sit closer together. They're all squished up. Can I get them to spread apart, right? And on the flip side, can I squish them down together and really kind of squeeze in? This one's actually a little bit harder for me to be able to control. Um, if you need, like, if you want to put, like, a pen in between um, your toes and be able to kind of squeeze and keep it straight up and down, that helps dictate that, then good. So once again, can I spread them? Can I squeeze them together? And the last one, the last couple that you're going to be able to master is let's pick them all up off the floor. Now, can I drive my big toe down? without the rest of the toes, right? And you see, once again, how I'm struggling to kind of keep, keep those uh, little toes up. And then on the flip side, can I put those little toes down while keeping the big toe up? And again, that's a big struggle to me because this one's relatively new for me, this particular exercise. If you need to kind of get in there with your hand, like actually take your finger and um, you know, kind of push one toe down and let the other ones work. So sometimes you have to dictate with your hand because your feet have been so jammed up for so long, such in, a, in like a tight position inside of your shoes that, again, they don't have that proprioception. There's no signal going to them telling them how to interact and how to work, right? So if you have to get in there physically with your hand and just kind of dictate to your foot exactly what to do, that's fine. Also, over the course of time, you'll develop the strength in your feet to be able to kind of control these actions. Something to pay attention to in terms of these exercises, as with all things posture, if I'm trying to change the body structurally, so I'm trying to stretch something and create more range of motion, or in this case, we're trying to strengthen the bottom of the feet. If I'm gonna go back into these same patterns that caused the problem in the first place, so I'm gonna jump right back into footwear and just solidify the problem in general, probably not gonna be as effective. Now, one thing you can do to mitigate that 
one, again, if you're gonna do these exercises, you wanna pay attention to try to stay out of footwear as often as possible. Um, but two, you can actually do these exercises inside of like a sneaker or any footwear that's gonna afford you the ability to kind of move around. And that will help solidify the process of once again, kind of strengthening your feet and being able to use them for you as opposed to, you know, just shutting them down or locking them down with that particular footwear. So try that in your spare time. You got to think about the stuff outside of the time that you're actually doing the exercises to make that, um, you know, long-term structural change. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to make some structural change in this area right here, which I know we all do, you can head right here, click this link. I'll give you my nine best tips on how you can develop a rock solid core mobile device. You just head down below, click the first link in the description. Guys, I'd love for you to head down below, like, leave a comment, tell me exactly what you want to see, and of course, subscribe to this channel right here. My name is Frank Daniels. Guys, enjoy your day. Or a gorilla uses their feet. Looks like it should look like that. We have restricted, restricted, restricted okay, there's a restriction, okay? Your feet, your foots, is it foots? Is it feet? Is it foots? It's foots. The fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Over the course of the long time, uh, the long haul. Um, long time. We love you long time. I do. I swear.